Welcome back to the Hawksley Gaming Project. This is TF Banana, and today, my first sales spotlight for the week, where I plan to cover at least one, maybe two, games that are flying under the radar that are on sale. You know, every, the big ones are going to always get snatched up and talked about and just stand out to you in general. So as I said at the beginning in my introduction video, you know, if, if you didn't see that, you can check that one out. I'm going to try to shine a light on games that are often overlooked. And so my first one this week is Tharsis on sale now in the eShop for $7.19. Do me a favor and hit that subscribe button, and if you want to know when I've got videos coming out, hit that bell icon. But, without further ado, let's jump into a Let's Play of Tharsis, where I can give you the lowdown on what this title is. Filthy Banana, and this is Banana Plays Tharsis. What is Tharsis? Well, it's a couple different things. It's a, it's a strategy dice roller at its core. What we got here is a, a crew on their way to colonize Mars, but of course, like any good sci-fi story, trouble ensues quickly. So we're going to jump right into it as uh, we get our first alert that the micrometeoroids have destroyed the pantry and crippled the Katomi. J-Cross has been ejected into space and Musgrave suffered a fatal injury. Our new goal? Survive. So, right off the jump, you can see that I got my crew scattered in different modules around our ship. I've got them located. Boop boom. In the flight control center, the greenhouse, the laboratory, and in maintenance. So, what makes this such an interesting title? Well, let me first start off by saying I hate this game. I hate it so damn much, but I cannot stop playing it. Well, there's a couple reasons that that's going into effect right now, and the main one being that I'm not a big fan of the dice mechanic in the game. Not necessarily the concept of rolling dice, but the way that the dice physically roll on the screen kind of breaks the, the illusion. You know, you got to peek behind the curtain of the, the number systems working. It doesn't look as fluid or as natural as dice would typically roll. That being said, however, I am a huge fan of what happens when... Um, <clears throat> you run out of food and start cannibalizing your dead crew members or murder them to eat them and then your dice change a little bit and that can be kind of fun but let's jump right into it real quick so we're going to take a look at the screen again if you look in the top left you've got the hull the red bar underneath that shows you that if you look in the bottom where i've got the 11 on the screen that's where the meteoroid strike was and that's going to cause one damage to our hull unless we can clear that event You'll also notice that there's that blue dice there, indicating a 1, meaning when we go in there, it's going to cause stasis on that roll, meaning we cannot re-roll that die, and we are stuck with it. So, having an assist, if you look to the top right near the food over there, is helpful in that situation. So we're going to jump right on into it and see what we can get going right here. We're going to start with our mechanic in the greenhouse and if, oh this is wonderful right off the jump right we've got two void dice three or four if i roll a three or a four those dice just vanish and that is no bueno no bueno at all underneath the portrait of my packle lavoran i'm not saying it right but hey that's not what you're here for right he's got the three indicating how many dice he can currently roll the food, top right, is what you do to replenish them. Um, so, we are going to roll, roll, roll. So far, okay, we had one assist, we used it, but we're gravy. So, we're going to go ahead and use those to clear the event. And actually, I'm going to take his six that he's got remaining. I could re-roll it, but I'm going to use his specialization and add a plus one to our hole which will be beneficial down the road. So, now that we've cleared that event, it's actually safe now for Silva to move through. Had this event still been there, she would have taken a minus one to her health in order to go over here. Sometimes it's a risk-reward, right? Is it worth taking the hit on health if you've got somebody with a, a high back set of dice that they can come in and, and deal with an event? of a higher number. So we're just trying to avoid the one stasis here, which is no big deal. I'm not worried about that. I say that out loud, I'll probably roll triple ones. Oh, they tried. They tried. 
I don't necessarily like anything there. I'm not going to play the two threes to get a six and then roll the two hoping for a five. So I'm just going to re-roll them again because the specialist can roll three times and that's a much better roll. I'll take that stasis, no big deal. And we're back to five. I have to play this one. My choice is to play it right there to repair or I can drop it down here into research which I'm not going to do this time. I'm going to go ahead and just play it right there. And I'm going to take one more shot at this die. And I, of course, it would have been better off had I kept my mouth shut, right? But now I will dump that off into research. Now we'll bring in Joy to clear this out. Actually, you know what? No, we won't. We're going to go get the doctor to clear this out. Only needing a four. Joy had the most dice. I'm going to use her to try to replenish our food supplies. This is not good at all. Having one of these type days. And this is equal parts why I hate this game so much. No matter what you need, it, there are times where it feels that the game just doesn't want you to win. And there's nothing you can do about it. You're completely at the mercy of it. And so I understand that you got to adapt in order to survive and to move on and all that jazz. But, uh, mm -mm. no, sir. Okay, so we can put that in. So we've added two assists to the top right. So it's not a failed one. And from a stress standpoint, I can actually reduce her stress all the way out, which is important, as you'll see coming up here. So now we've got our new impending damage. Okay, so now you can see right here that we'll have minus 30 stress for all but minus one hull damage versus plus one food but minus one dice on those people. I'm inclined in this situation right now to not worry about the dice. Reduce everybody's stress so we can make better decisions. I'll take the one hull damage since I already fixed it once, right? Now comes decision time. Who needs dice? Well, my doctor could use some. Let's hook her up and get right back out there for the next round of events. We've got ten when well, we got nine weeks left to get to Mars. So we ramp up. We've got uh, this first one right here in the greenhouse, 17, will cause one damage to the hull. The one all the way at the back end isn't gonna cause any damage, but we ultimately want to clear it. All right, let's see. We will take the doctor here. Her mass amount of dice. And try to avoid ones. I do not want ones. I'll take the threes. It's fine. All right. If I roll that out... Hmm. We could harvest food here. See, this is where you got to balance it. And you know what? I think we're going to go after the food with the rest of that roll, so that was a good turn by the doctor. Between everybody left, we shouldn't have any trouble clearing this, but having that extra food at the end, oh, were you kidding me? Told you this game just wants you to fail sometimes. Others, you can breeze right through it, have no problem, clear the events, have extra people, you can stack your resources, build everything, everything's wonderful. Not, not so sometimes. Like I said, it actively feels against you, and the dice just don't feel natural. As now I've stasis again. So I'm stuck with this one. So I'll play two into the research, and two into that. And now I went from, oh, I'll have no trouble clearing this and getting on to the next one, to, nope, I've got to get a five and avoid a two and a three, or we are screwed. 
and there's the two and the injury now I have to get a three and chances are I'll get a one that never rolled there we go but that's exactly what I was talking about with the dice how that just doesn't come across natural how they just skid on one side that to me is when it uh like I said it's a it's a peek behind the curtain in Oz if you will So, as I mentioned before, we got the no movement damage. If we were to go through an event and take the one damage, now it won't if I choose that one, which I'm going to have to take because if I do this one here, the minus one all will end up actually killing our specialist. So we are stuck here. Speaking of our specialist, I'm not going to give her any extra love right now, but I will hook up the technician as we take a look now and see what our new events are stacked on top of our preceding one. So, we will take our mechanic, who will not suffer from damage, and dump him right here into this 27 and start chipping away. So we do not have much of a choice here. We have got to get on this one. This one, if we don't clear it, will ultimately kill the specialist because it will cause the one damage. There goes the dice. And of course we stasis, right? But right now it's a no-brainer. We are just plowing through. We should be able to clear it here. Beautiful and beautiful. Now I would love to roll a five or higher. Wonderful. And we will add that to our class for the technician to get two assists. Located in the top right next to the food. Speaking of locations, the subscription button for subscribing is located right below the window of the video that you're watching. Would love it if you clicked on that and became a subscriber. You can also check the description to find all the links for social media. So let's see here. We got that six. I definitely needed that. That purple void is not a good thing. If I roll a four, nothing happens except that the dice will disappear. And as much as I complained and told you I hate this game, I love it when things like this happen. Thus my never-ending battle of I don't like this game. So I've got one die left with the specialist, at best, I can get a six. So we will just roll, roll, roll. And you know what? I'm not going to press my luck again, and here's why. If I roll this again, why would I burn my assist? So why don't I just chip away so that that's just going to be a one roll the next time, no matter what. one food yeah I think we're gonna have to I'll take the hull damage on this one 
Now, the doctor can have some food, but here comes the fun. The specialist is going to die soon, so should we let her start eating people? Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, let's just do it. Give you that effect right off the jump. We got a 10 and a 15. And yowzers, they're both serious. So we'll clear this event here with our bloody dice now that we've consumed human flesh. And I wasted both of my assists by rolling all of that, which does not make me happy, but this right here does. We'll dump that into research and hopefully roll a four, five, or six here. Yes, sir. And we will dump that down here as well. And now, if I want to, when we get to the big boy, we have this one ready from investing in our research. Imagine that. Science to save humanity. Be pretty awesome if uh, people trusted science, wouldn't it? So, we can roll in here, or what I can do is use that, clear this event, it's done. Now I can just roll for hull repairs. Try to get a five. Nothing. I got one more roll. Let's get a five. Come on. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I needed that. So that's a hull repair. And we'll reinvest in research. And now that frees up the doctor to get in here without taking a damage to the health. And we can start rolling against this. As long as we don't hit fours, we're okay. So we got nine showing. I got one more roll. And I'll re-roll all of those. Okay, I'll take it. I have no more I don't have a choice, right? So we'll pop that one, that one, that one, and boom. Alright. I feel safe in saying we should be able to clear this now without a problem. But I have been known to roll brutal before. So let's see if I can roll four, or I'm sorry, three fours and kill Joy. Because it has happened. It almost did, didn't it? Lucky there. Told you, this game actively works against you most of the time. Which just infuriates me to no end. My wife has looked at me like I am insane yelling at this game. And she keeps asking, why are you still playing it? Because I'm going to, I'm going to just, I'm going to conquer it. There's no way around it. Minus 30% stress is a no-brainer because I'm not taking a minus 2 to the hole no matter what. Right now, everybody's going to just chill because I'm not feeding anybody the leftover corpse. I've got 18. I've got everybody in this one. Hopefully here, what we're going to try to do... Oof, this is ugly. This is a prevent void. So we'll invest our research. So we cannot void in here, which is great. But now I'm going to try to get nice. Nice, nice, nice. Now everybody I'm sure is like, do it, do it, get it down to one. No, my specialist is about dead. This will get her one more. But now I can do that. And she's at two health now as opposed to one. been bad news if I didn't invest in my research. Jeez, I'm just further proof. Further proof, not that you needed it, right? Ay, ay, ay. There we go. Okay. So, we can invest that into the hull, we can invest that to clear it, and we can move on. 
Unfortunately, we're going to lose one dice for everybody because I'm not going to be able to clear this, I don't think. Not at the rate I've been rolling, but stranger things have happened. There's that six, and there's the two. Hey, I talked just enough to make the game work for me. Clear out of there and see what they got for us now. So, we can take this minus, and it will actually be beneficial in the long run. I'm not worried about the stress. The hull, we should be good. I just don't have food here. So, it's time to cannibalize. Didn't realize Leatherface was on board, but hey, whatever it takes, right? Oh, we got ourselves a messed up spot to go into. Whoo-wee! All right, so, got no choice but to go right in here. If we roll sixes, we are basically screwed. And I have a feeling it's coming. Oh, lucky, lucky, get that out of there. You know what, let's go again. Take that four. And we'll dump this down into research. And now we will send the doctor in. Hopefully, show us the way. This is the way, right? And there's that six, but I'm okay right now because the event is complete. Now that will allow us to move my buddy here to start working on this. Oh, this is bad news. This is bad, bad news. And I'm just going to chip it away. All right, we're gonna. This is what we talked about earlier. I'm gonna. I can afford to take the one hit to the health here. But is it gonna be a risk that's worth it? We're about to find out. Oh, it was not. So that was a wasted turn. And now our ship is in deep trouble. Okay, because of the situation our hull is in right now, we're gonna, we have no choice, truthfully, other than to do this. Getting the additional two assists is great, but adding the stress, if you already look at the stress meter underneath their name placards at the bottom, it's on the left side, the green indicator, Paco Lavorin, because you know I have to keep saying that brutal name, has already stressed the F out. Let's see here. I have no food, I can't kill somebody, but we're just going to have to deal with it the way that we got it. And I'm going to be honest with you, this does not look good for anybody. So we are going to go in here and actually, no, we're not, because there is not a thing I can do about that. So, everybody's got one die. Yeah, let's go. And void. But my assist kicked in. Great. I did all that trash talking about how I didn't need to worry about getting extra assists. Now I could use them. 
because I cannot roll a four, five, or six, and that's probably all I'm going to roll. There's that two. Here is my one. <laughs> no pun intended, right? Which gets us down to our one person left, and unfortunately, our lives are going to come to an end here because I can't even clear one event. And ladies and gentlemen, that is a quick playthrough in one game of Tharsis. Tell me what you think in the comments below. I told you I, I hate this game as much as I can't stop playing it. Because one of these days, it's going to all fall in line together. I've even put this thing on easy and still can't get through it. What does that say about me? Ouch, ouch, ouch. Hey, but you know what? I'm feeling a little spunky. Let's just jump in. Let's take one quick look at this thing. Check our crew out here. I haven't unlocked the other ones yet because I have to beat the game. I'm working on my research. I haven't cannibalized enough people. Let's see. We're going to get our commander involved. So let's take the captain out. Put the commander in with that plus four repair. And let's take the specialist out and put the technician in. But just for fun, let's put this thing on hard this time. We saw what it looked like on easy. Let's see what this thing looks like on brutality. And we're going to jump right in. Oh, so we start off right at 23. They don't ease you in. Goodness gracious. Okay. Let's jump in. What do we got to do here? Those are stasis rolls, okay? I can tolerate a stasis off the jump. I can't tolerate that, though. Drop that there. Uh, definitely put you there. But then immediately... Call in an assist and a reroll. Beautiful, that worked out. Drop the tech in here. Or, I'm sorry, the mechanic. Come on, 11. I'll have to take the six then. And reroll. Watch, we'll get ones. And now. Sitting back and letting that earlier one settle is not doing so hot for us. But we have the chance here, having the other crew members, if I can get a five in here, we can have some health. There it is. I needed that. So now everybody in that module, which means the mechanic and the technician as well as the doctor, all gain one health, which will be critical later on. And the commander can roll down here and start addressing this issue, which isn't affecting the ship hull's integrity at all. Snake eyes. Do you know what? We can drop one of them right there. And one down here, so the stasis did not affect me too badly. And we'll move on to the next impending event. I'll skip the story since we've already done that on this playthrough. All right, we are going to add food. We lost dice because we didn't clear that event. So the doc, I'm sorry, the commander and the mechanic, yeah, the mechanic are gonna get the extra dice because I might need them. Oof, we got a leak. That's okay. We're going to send the mechanic back in here. Uh, I'm sorry, the commander, to clear this one out. And possibly do some hull repairs. Oh, boy. Why don't we do that and then clear it? So now we've actually repaired the hull and cleared the event. So a nice, nice turn for the commander. Okay, what do we have here? We gotta get 12 plus one, one mile plus food. Not a lot I can do here other than hope for six. Let's go six. 
Well, I have no choice but to re-roll that one. So I can roll a two, probably. Okay, we'll run that repair. No problem. And now the mechanic, who's going to take a hit on his health, but we're going to start rolling him against this damage, since he's got four dice in hand. Injury, injury. Play that five. And... No. Yes, yes, yes. I'll regen that so that he's got full dice on his next roll. Of course I'm going to roll the one. And now he's dead. Just like that, he's dead. Got a little aggressive. There are worse things, right? Well, I guess not. I guess there's not anything really necessarily worse than death. Unless maybe being forced to listen to a Neil Diamond concert. Just kidding. Love you, Neil. Alright, so we're going to take two damage to the hull. Everybody lost one die. We're out of food. The hull cannot take a hit. I can lose more dice on people. Got a dead body. Things are not looking so good. I'm hard. Now we've got five events, three people. Pretty safe to assume we are not going to survive this one. So we'll jump right in here, start attacking. Of course we're going to roll a one. Why wouldn't we? Now we're going to roll a two. Yeah. Alright, back in it. There's that four again. There's the three. Drop that down. Get out of there. Alright, Commander. You're the only hope, but you're really not, because no matter what you do, the ship is doomed. Six, five, four. Reroll this one one more time for the same number that, again, didn't roll. Cleared. And that's it. But we still could not save the ship. So that was Tharsis. Let me know down in the comments what you thought about that one. Is that one that you're going to be picking up? It may not be for everyone, but I'll tell you this. It was definitely for me. Remember to hit that subscribe button, like, share, and just spread the good word of what we got going on here as we get ready to try to build up the Hawksley Gaming Project. Till next time, this is TF Banana. Peace.